Hey there, friends. Andrew with MushroomSpawnStore.com. And today is the next video in the series that is going to be a complete guide on how to grow mushrooms using our all-in-one mushroom grow bags. So in the last video, we saw how to inject your bag. And it's been uh, about a week, maybe a little less. I'd have to look. But the bag is looking really good. So, obviously, no contamination. And we've got a good amount of colonization. And this is what we're looking for. So, now we are going to get some extra air in the bag. And we're going to break up that colonized portion here. And we're going to mix the substrate and the colonized grain portion together. And I'm going to show you a trick. You need something like this. This is a one inch spring clamp. You can get these on Amazon or from your local hardware store real cheap. I think I paid like a dollar a piece for these. Um, and we're going to clamp this bag from the top seal here. And we're going to clamp it to something sturdy. I have a tripod behind me. And so I'm going to demonstrate how I hang the bags. Uh, and we'll time lapse or we'll speed up the uh, bag getting filled with air before we mix it. So first, what can help to make this process easier is the bag is gusseted. So you have these sides, right? So what I like to do is grab opposite corners of the plastic and pull because the plastic tends to stick to itself a little bit. Should be good. And you can already see we got a little bit of air in there. So we're going to switch views now. Howdy. Need the clamp. So the bag is hung, it's going to draw air through the filter patch right here. And once we get some extra space in the bag, it's going to make it a lot easier to mix it all together. So I'm going to let this hang here for a few minutes, recording, and when I come back, we will break it and shake it. So see you in a bit. Okay, we are back, and as you can see, that only took about four minutes, and we've created plenty of extra space inside the bag now. So, let's see. We got extra space in the bag, plenty of headroom, and we just do this. So, try and back up so I can be in frame. All that grain at the bottom. Ideally, you know, we would get each colonized piece of grain separate because you're going to maximize your individual colonization points that way, which will help speed up the process. So, that's broken up. What I like to do is get the bag kind of long like this, and then just gently rotate, shaking it as you go. And each time you do this, you're almost switching layers, but you're also, you know, you, when you're rotating it like this, the layers are almost switching, you know, top substrate is going to the bottom, grains going to the top but it's also mixing. So, really, I only need to do this 
handful of times. Oh, there's a big old, there's a, sometimes you'll find, uh, let's see, angles, there we go. That's a big ball of colonized grain right there. I'll break that up. Boom. Mix it some more. And you, I mean, you want to be kind of gentle. You don't need to be like dainty with it, but um, you definitely don't want to tear the bag if you've gotten this far. That would be a shame. So. Pretty good. Ready to go. Well mixed. You'll see little bits of mycelium, but it kind of disappears once you mix it up. All right, and we're going to switch back to the other view. And we're back in the overhead. So now that we've gotten this, I like to press it down a little bit, compact it almost like the way it came. That maximizes the contact, all of the grain, and we're done. So now we wait for this to fully colonize before we start fruiting it. And it shouldn't take too much longer than the time between the first inoculation video and this video. So I would suppose in about a week, maybe two weeks tops, this whole bag should be solid white and ready to fruit. And when that is the case, I will come back and we will continue this series on how to grow mushrooms in our mushroom grow bags. So thanks for joining us. I'm sure you can see the... Uh, Banner across the bottom, check out our website, discount code SHROOMTUBE for 15% off. Subscribe to our channel. Uh, we don't ask for much more than that. Um, this is strictly educational content, um, and this will apply to any bag you use, whether you get it from us or not. And obviously, we would love if you do that. But either way, uh, I hope you found this helpful, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.